All right, so I bought this axle for my teardrop build, but because I'm using a really old pop-up camper, the size between where I need to mount my axle isn't a standard size. Uh, I think it's like four foot seven inches or something. And these axles only come in four foot, five foot, six foot, and seven foot. So I, go, I went ahead and ordered a five foot uh, center of the perch to the other center of the other perch long axle. I think it's like 73 hub face to hub face, 53 center to center on these spring perches. So from the center of this spring perch to the center of what was down there, that spring perch was like 53 or something like that. So I went ahead and ordered this and what I'm doing is cutting off this spring perch and I'm going to scooch each one of these in two and a half inches to give me the center of my frame uh, and just re-weld them back on there. I didn't see a lot of videos out there of this, mostly on cars and stuff, not really on trailers, so I figured I'd make a video of it and uh, and I marked where my center of my axle is. This is a over spring, over mount axle. I don't know, it goes over the springs instead of under them. So my cam, right now my trailer's turned upside down. So my camber, so this is, this is the underside of the trailer, it's flipped over. So my camber is pointing up towards what'll be the top of my trailer once it's flipped over. So my perches are on top and they'll go on top of the springs instead of under it. It helps it sit lower. Um, I don't know. Didn't really matter to me, but I went ahead and marked the center of my, my axle, uh, centered that up. And then right where the axle's sitting, I screwed a little, I took a drill bit and put a little dimple right in the middle of this, this perch so that I know when I move it two and a half inches up, I need to line it back up with that dimple. I also went ahead and marked the center where that little white dot is, uh, just to keep things consistent. But I'm working on the second second perch, and it's it's going okay. I'll show you the one that I uh, already did. My garage is flooded right now because of all the melting snow and whatever. But I can still cut metal. But uh, I'll fill these in with weld. I mean, they're not too bad. I don't know if you can see that, but I did cut that off and then so right there's the center of this perch I'm gonna move it up two and a half inches and remount and re-weld the other perch so that I can get my width on my on my trailer um but yeah I didn't see a lot of videos out there about that so I figured instead of paying extra money and waiting 10 to 12 weeks for a custom axle uh I actually didn't have the idea my father-in-law told me about it that I could do it and I Went on YouTube and found a couple videos uh, for cars, but it's the same idea for a trailer. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.